Hey folks, thanks for joining me in another video. This video today is going to be on the Zero Tolerance 0350. This is a video for my buddy Travis Kane here on YouTube. If you haven't already, check out his channel. He's got some cool videos up on knives, EDC gear, that type of stuff. Great guy, super friendly, really kind, really cool. And uh, he's got a lot of great videos, so definitely check him out. Anyway, uh, Travis saw a photo that I had posted on Instagram the other day, and it was of the Zero Tolerance 0350. And he was talking about as to whether or not I had de-assisted this knife, which means had I removed the torsion bar from this knife so that it is no longer uh, spring-assisted as it is right now. And I told him that I hadn't, and I'd been meaning to try it. Um, not necessarily that because I definitely wanted to remove the assisted opening feature, uh, but because I just wanted to try it without it and see which way I preferred. And it's just something I've been putting off for a while. I've been using this knife anyway, just leaving the spring, the torsion bar in there. But I decided I was going to make him a video and show him real quick. Now there's probably other videos already online showing this exact same uh, modification or removal procedure, whatever you want to call it. But it's, uh, you know, this was a video for a friend and I just kind of wanted to show him specific to my own experience removing it and then showing him what I thought of it once it was taken out. Now some assisted opening knives, you can't remove the assisted opening feature without losing the uh, ability for the knife to remain closed. That is that the torsion bar, the spring that's in here that keeps the blade or that flips the blade open is also the same mechanism that keeps the blade shut. Now some zero tolerance and Kershaw knives have a detent and a little ball bearing inside the assembly here that allow them to have that spring removed and the blade will still remain closed. It will still have a bias towards closure on its own. Uh, the Kershaw Blur is one such model. You can remove the spring assist from the Kershaw Blur and the knife will still remain safely closed on its own. So this uh, Zero Tolerance 0350 is supposed to be one of those models as well. So I thought I'd open mine up and show him that method. Now I'm uh, removing, actually you know, before I remove the pivot screw, which is a T8, that's a Torx size 8, there are three body screws that use a Torx size 6 and also two in the pocket clip. But I think for this little uh, removal, we won't need to take those out from the pocket clip. So I'm going to remove these one, two, three body screws here. These are pretty long. They go all the way from one side of the handle to the other. And if I can fish one out of here, I'll show you that. Oh, there he goes. There's that first one. And if I recall, I've not done this uh, modification yet. That is, I haven't removed the torsion bar. But if I recall from reading and seeing online, uh, you don't have to take the entire knife apart. You should only have to take apart one side of your 0350 in order to remove that little torsion bar. So that's kind of handy, just a quick and painless little removal. It's also handy if you ever need to replace the torsion bar on your 0350. Get that last body screw out. Something else I should have done, I'll do it now. Um, when you do go to open an assisted open knife, a lot of times if you're going to swap out the spring or make a change, it's a good idea to open the knife first because that way the spring is you know sort of at rest. It's not tensioned, and that way you don't have you know parts of the spring flying out at you or loop. You know you don't want to. You don't want to load any tension behind some of the parts and have anything go flying away where you can't find it later. So I'll take out that pivot screw there. And then I'll lift off this top piece of G10. And you can see that this portion has a little channel sort of milled out of it. And that makes room for the torsion bar to move. And this is all there is to it. There's a, a sort of a mating channel on the inside of the liner. And this is your torsion bar here. Has a little hole that it fits into there at the blade. Has another little hole that it fits into uh, right there in the liner. And then there's also a little space, a little you know channel in the backspacer that it also seats into. So that little piece there comes out, and you're just going to pop this piece of a G10 handle back onto it. I'll put the pivot screw back in place first. And yeah, there really isn't a whole heck of a lot to it. 
tighten that down not too much now I also uh, I have some 3-in-1 and I have some uh, Loctite some thread locker off to the side here but to keep this video short I'll go ahead and apply that to the screws afterward I just kind of want to do a sort of a quick and dirty version of this looks like my backspacers moved a little bit might squiggle out of place a little try and line that up just so kind of hard to I'm standing over my camera and my tripod so I'm just having a little bit of difficulty getting everything lined up just so and sorry if at some point I kind of move out of the frame as I'm trying to look over the camera as I do this and so I'm sort of losing sight of where the camera is looking as I put this back together but you know this is all part of the process and hopefully this will uh, if anyone else wants to do this removal or wants to disassemble their knife to replace this this will give you a little insight as to what you can expect Get that one going and I'll put that last one in looks like it might need to wiggle in place just a little bit more You see, can you see that? I'll move it out so you can kind of see the backspacer. Uh, none of the screws have gone through the liners yet, so the backspacer is kind of slipping and sliding. Now, if I wasn't doing this in front of the camera, I would probably position uh, one of the drivers here through one of the holes to sort of make sure that that uh, backspacer stayed exactly aligned to make these screws easier to insert. But it looks like I got it. Let's run that screw through. Again, these are Torx uh, size 6 screws here in the body. Tighten that one down there at the back. One in the middle. And then that should be it. And uh, the rumors are true. They're not rumors, but what folks say about the ZTO350 is definitely true. You can see that the, the blade defaults into the handle with a little click. That's that little ball bearing locking into the little channel there. And it looks like we're pretty well centered. I might tweak that a little bit more, but that looks pretty darn good. And that still snaps right into place with just a flick of your index finger. So this is now completely unassisted or de-assisted, whatever your term is that you prefer to call it. And maybe you're someone that thinks that the torsion bar is kind of noisy, that it rattles when the knife is closed, which is which is occasionally true of spring assisted knives or maybe you're someone like me that just typically uh, you don't like having to fight the spring to close the knife and I actually I've nicked myself on a couple assisted opening knives because of that because I'll go to close the knife and I'll be kind of fighting that spring and you might have your thumb or your finger slip into the uh, you know in the path of the blade so removing that little spring that torsion bar helps so that you can kind of control and slowly close the knife. So I'll tell you what, now that the spring is out of there, I kind of want to leave it out. So maybe I'll just use this unassisted or de-assisted for a while, see how it goes. But Travis, if you're watching this video, um, yeah, pretty easy to do. Nice solid lockup. You know, everything is still goes right back the way that it was before. The spring is not at all necessary. You know, it's not at all integral to the performance of this model knife at all. So everything still went back together just fine, snaps into place quickly, and you don't have to fight the spring to close it. So there you go, the Zero Tolerance 0350 with the torsion bar removed. So that's pretty much it, thanks very much for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon, bye.